I have never seen well, a dead body before. I feel like I'm in a bit of a daze right now as to what just happened because it's quite a surreal experience. Firstly, the complexion, the expression of the face, the position they're in was all quite new to me and I think that was quite shocking. When I first saw the donor, it surprised me how unhuman they looked with the whole embalming process and everything. I was expecting it to look a lot more like somebody who was alive and that was a bit of a shock to me but at the same time I could still tell it was a person. So. I found myself sort of empath empathising with the donor in some sense like that. Having dissection at the beginning of the course is emotionally challenging. However, interacting with a human body so early on in their career helps them to achieve that crucial balance between being attached to a patient but at the same time being detached from them in order to give them the best medical treatment. So we started off the session today where we had a quick supervision on the actual structure of the bones in the upper arm and then we went on to sort of actually dissecting it so we used the scalpel and peeled back to sort of flaps in the skin. There is no substitute um, to seeing the body in person as opposed to in a textbook and that's why we're here I think. At the beginning of the um, dissection room experience the students are asked to view their donor as their first patient and their silent teacher. Dissection was so much beyond two sessions a week gathering anatomical facts. It was a personal and poignant experience shared between peers and our donor. They have taught us how to respect both the living and those that have passed, to treat all we encounter with dignity, and provided us with our first sense of balance between life and death that doctors encounter every day. To our donors and to their loved ones, we commend you, and we sincerely and earnestly thank you.